Hey everybody, this is Spoony Bard. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a review of some of the comic books I just picked up at uh, my local dollar store. But before we begin, I want to take a more serious tone. And I want to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my last video, when I uh, uploaded it, I didn't do my due diligence. And uh, if you have seen it, you'll might notice if you watch far enough that at the eight minute mark, the um, video cuts out. There is still audio, but uh, honestly, I don't think anybody really wanted to listen to a podcast, half video, half podcast. Um, so you can still listen to it and, uh, you know, hear what I have to say, but I wanted to take the time to um, go through the books now and just quickly show you what you missed. Batman, Volume 10, Epilogue, the end of this Scott Snyder run on Batman. DC Universe Rebirth, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, Volume 2, Bottled Light. Wonder Woman, New 52, Volume 3, Iron. Wonder Woman, Volume 9, The Enemy of Both Sides. Justice League vs. Suicide Squad, which contains the full six-issue uh, miniseries as well as the three related Suicide Squad issues and two Justice League issues. Injustice, Year 3, Volume 2. Injustice, Year 4, Volume 2. Injustice, Year 5, Volume 3. So I just wanted to set the record straight there because uh, that's not an indication of the quality that I want to be delivering to you guys and I have higher standards for myself so feel free to call me out in the future on anything anyways let's get into these pickups okay so first up was Aquaman DC Rebirth volume 4 Underworld and as you can see here collects Aquaman issues number 25 through 30 this is Aquaman Unspoken Water it, uh, when Kelly Sue DeConnick uh, took over the book as writer, they kind of rebranded it as All New Aquaman, but they kept the numbering. So this is actually a continuation of the Rebirth volume that we covered, whereas that was 25 through 30. This volume covers uh, issues 43 through 47. Uh, I don't know much about the Rebirth Aquaman, so um, I'll read both of these volumes and hopefully get a decent understanding of although it seems like they're taking a new direction here I, i've noticed though for aquaman most of the stories are always just retreads so we'll see how new it is next is green lantern sector 2814 which is the um the sector of space that has earth in it that the green lanterns patrol uh this is volume three uh, as you can see um Writers and artists include uh, Steve Englehart, Joe Statton, Bruce Patterson. Um, I have the first volume of this, which you can watch in one of my earlier videos, um, where I talk about um, the fact that in the first volume, we see Hal Jordan coming back from space to spend time on Earth and realizing he wants to stick around and have a relationship with Carol and just reconnect with the people in his life. Uh, so he quits the Lantern Corps, and in his uh, as his replacement, they um, appoint Jon Stewart. So that's um, where we first, uh, at the end of uh, Volume 1, beginning of Volume 2, that's where we first see Jon Stewart uh, become Green Lantern. And in this volume, he actually... Um, they sort of reintroduce Guy Gardner. So he was in some kind of coma or something. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, he comes out of the coma. So the Guardians make him Green Lantern, but that puts him at odds with Jon Stewart. And then for some reason, you got Hal Jordan in the middle. By the way, this is when comics actually had like dialogue on the covers. Kind of miss that th those days. Uh, so we can see Hector Hammond and the Shark, Green Lantern villains, uh, Sinestro and Krona. Anyways, by the end of this, uh, the big thing is because we're getting to... Sorry, this says issues 194 through 200. 
Um, which means by issue 200, obviously, Hal Jordan is back uh, as Green Lantern. Although I think the other two, um, John Stewart and Guy Gardner, are also Green Lantern. As you can see here, issue 200, The Legend Reborn, anniversary issue. Um, they tend to like to sort of bring back a lot of the status quo for these. Um, I think a lot of people will pick them up just out of curiosity, issue 200. And uh, so they want to put stuff in there that longtime fans might remember. Next up is Injustice Year 4, Volume 1, uh, which collects issues 1 through 7. Now, what's great about this is in one of the videos, or sorry, one of the books, rather, that I showcased uh, on the last video that got cut off that I kind of briefly covered earlier was Injustice Year 4, Volume 2. So with this uh, volume, I now have the entire uh, fourth year of the series, which is nice because at least I get a complete story with that. Lastly, I have Injustice Year 2, Volume 1. I have now essentially one volume from every year of Injustice, uh, except for, as you just saw, um, I have all of Year 4. Uh, I enjoy the Injustice games. Uh, I've been talking about being excited to read through this. Um, I didn't really care for the storyline of the first one, but the second one where they introduced sort of like the multiverse concept, and the, I, I really dug what they were doing there. And, uh, I mean, being able to customize your fighter in the game was really cool. Um, so this is the first seven issues, and I don't exactly know what uh, is going on in this sort of year. Like I know in the third year, uh, they're dealing more with magic. The fourth year, they're dealing with kind of like the gods, like the Greek gods and stuff like that. So um, not sure what the point of this year is, but, uh, you know, it'll be cool to uh, get a little more uh, detail on the world of the game. And I hope they come out with the third one soon. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, again, my apologies over the last video. I hope you guys find it in your heart to forgive me. Um, if you do have any comments, please feel free to uh, leave them below. Uh, otherwise, I'll um, be back with another video uh, in a few days. Thanks. Bye.